Hello, my name's Henry. I got 10 nines in my GCSEs that I sat two years ago and I'm about to start my A-levels next week. And today, this is part of my continuing series, which is what to do in the days before specific exams. I'm gonna be doing this for all the core exams and hopefully for some others, if I can fit that in. I'm also gonna be doing more general revision videos. So please, please, please make sure you subscribe now and leave a like too. Okay, I'm gonna get straight into this, talking about maths paper one today. One final thing though is please make sure you keep commenting tell me how your exam is going currently and it's really interesting to know and hear and i'm glad they seem to be going quite well for a lot of people if they don't don't worry i'll be doing videos on this too and there's still paper two and three for some subjects as well okay to get straight into this i'm going to start by giving you some annoying reminders these may be annoying because you've heard them so many times but they are the most important things for maths number one is read the question properly okay this is so important Honestly, every I know everyone feels this, like when you get paper back and you've made lo loads of mistakes in maths, but you know it. I take A-level maths and honestly, the marks I'm dropping now are just mistakes. There may be some things I don't understand, but for those aiming for like for aiming between like a seven, eight, nine, any grades really, you, you're going to be held back a grade on mistakes alone. So the people who can deal with their mistakes effectively and make the least amount of mistakes are the people who are going to do the best all round. OK, a lot of you may know a lot of the content. So one of the things you can do most quickly is try and work on your mistakes. Here's some advice. Here's some things that I've learned during A-level maths that I didn't necessarily do during GCSEs that helped me to kind of knock out my mistakes. Number one is I try to, when I get a question, I don't, usually I rush into it. I instantly start doing stuff, but try to just read it. Just read it once and then ask yourself in your head, what are they asking me? Then I go through and underline some stuff, highlight key information, and then I do it. But just having 10 seconds or something at the start to think, what are they asking me can be really helpful because often you ask the wrong question stuff like that another thing as well look at the answer and see if it makes sense you know if they're asking you about like what's the average speed of someone running it's not going to be like 800 kilometers an hour okay so just try and think common sense does this make sense you know compare it to a graph maybe recheck it in your exams but recheck it in your calculator sorry but just looking at it and taking a breath and thinking about what the question's asking you, all these things can really help eliminate mistakes, which is really, really important. Next thing, you must have heard this as well, is try not to leave anything blank, okay? You really do get method marks in GCC Maths for lots of stuff, even if it's just, I don't know, something times something, or you see two factors and you divide one by the other, anything like that, just really try not to leave things blank. Final tip in terms of the quick and annoying reminders is timings. GCC Maths is usually fine for timings, but one thing that I'm learning in A-level maths, which is much more difficult for timing, and I still think that's important in GCC maths, is if you're taking over like five, ten minutes in a question, just skip, okay? This is a really important skill, is knowing when you need to move on because maybe you're not getting it or you need to come back to it later in the paper. But keep an eye on the clock, okay? And just think, am I taking too long on this question? And if you are, and if you just don't get it, you know, I know how it feels, it happened to me in the exam, you get questions wrong in maths, that's okay. The people who can accept that and move on quite quickly and recognise they're not going to get it or they can move on and come back to it, these are the ones who are going to do the best. I'd recommend you pretty much go through the paper and any questions that are really difficult, kind of skip them or try them and then come back to them later at the end because your most marks are going to be on the ones you understand and do the best. And then, yeah, come back to them as well. So that's my annoying reminders that are really, really important for maths. So please try and watch these, try and take them in because they are going to help you. Okay. On the day of the exam, what I'd recommend doing in the morning is a Corbett Maths five a day. Maybe even doing it the evening before, but not the night before. Don't stay up too late. I've done videos on what to do the night before, day before, stuff like that, which may be useful. But I would try and get in the mood of maths. I find that really helpful. So wake up. Don't like do like loads of papers, wake up at 5 a.m. I wouldn't recommend that. You want good sleep and stuff like that. But wake up and I would do a Corbett Maths five a day. Something relaxing. Just get yourself in that mathematical mood. I think that's really helpful just to kind of, it feels a bit easier than just going into the exam straight away and just going straight into maths, trying to warm up a little bit. Any questions you do in the morning, light questions, more difficult ones are going to be useful. My final piece of advice is Corbett, not Corbett Maths, sorry, YouTube. One thing I would do is I'd Google top 10 hardest GCC maths questions. You know, this is probably for those who are aiming for a nine, but you could Google like math, uh, foundation maths, hardest questions, something like that. And I'd watch like a 40 minute video of someone explaining this. I think physics and maths tutor do good channels or the gc maths tutor something like that i'll try link in the description but they do great videos where it's like 40 minutes long and they just go through all the, the most difficult questions what i'd do is i'd pause it try answer the question then skip to the end to see if i got it right stuff like this is really helpful just seeing those grade nine questions and any topics you don't know like some of you may have things that you just think yeah i don't know vectors stuff like that try and watch a couple videos on those 
keep it fresh in your mind. Other than that, make sure you relax and also make sure you have some time off, stuff like that for vision, especially the night before. Don't stress it too much. And I really hope this video was helpful. Please, please subscribe. I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, keep up telling me how your exams go. Um, yeah, also my email is open and I do respond to all comments. I'm trying to during my A-levels. So we'll see if I can keep that up, but I would like to. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Good luck.